guys, what's up? I'm back, it's your boy Ellis Ricketts. I'm back with another video. If anybody is new to the channel watching this, I'm an illustrator, graphic designer, 3D modeler, uh, currently working in the film industry as a concept artist and a graphic designer. Um, today is kind of cool because the product is something I've never even purchased before. It's from another artist. Her name is Lauren Marks, and she's an incredible artist. I've been following her work for a while. She's got really cool stuff. I'll link all her links below. But basically, I don't, I don't know if this is her first book or not, but she's releasing this book with Dark Horse Publishing. I saw it and, you know, I've been trying to spurs up my house with artwork and stuff like that. I've been really into focusing on art and I wanted to, you know, bring, bring some more art into this house and some more inspiration for myself. Yeah, so this is the this is the book here. It's it's in here, so I'll unbox it with you. Shout out to Lauren Martz. Get my exacto knife. Hey, you see, I blacked out my address. Y'all can see it. I'm not a very nice box opener I'm I just rip it open and tear it apart I'll try to be a little nicer with you guys here but I'm not smooth at all with this stuff I just I'm kind of a, a ripper and a tear I'm not a clean opener Christmas gifts are the same way don't need that Cool. What's this? It's on the seat. Wow. Okay. So it's a hard cover. It's pretty nice. It's it's like sealed in the plastic. The artwork on this cover is really awesome as well. You can see she used like I can see different methods. Some methods we use are the same, like the different the different line strokes and stuff like that. But she's very like like her her drawings are realistic, but they have like a fantasy quality to them. Botanical garden type thing. Alright, so I'll peel the plastic for y'all. Don't need it. All right. Wow, it's printed. It's very high quality. Really nice. This is the back of it here. Oh, did I even tell you what the title was called? The book is called Sacred Decay. The Art of Lauren Marks. That's weird. I didn't even say the title. <laughs> it's nice. Back is probably the same. Yeah. Cool. All right, so let's take a look here. I really want to make my own art book. You know, I want to make my own art book. I've been wanting to for a while, but all my drawings are so random in style. All the styles are so different than each other. Like everything I produce, it's like for work mostly. So I've been trying to draw for myself every once in a while, trying to, you know, do that. But mostly it's for work, so everything I do, I can't really show because it's like under contract, stuff like that. But I would love to make my own art book one day. Damn. Yeah, see, she's very, like, realistic but but she twists it up and turns it into something like it's dark but beautiful at the same time it's weird it's different I like it All right, you know what let's, let's let's go to the table all right yeah I, I thought it would be better to 
I thought it'd be a little bit easier to see if we went straight to the table, would it? Okay. On page, Sacred Decay, Art of Warren Marks. Very cool. Couple intro pictures. All right, first page. Dedication. So this book is dedicated to her mom, Martha, who has supported her with endless inspiration and love. Very nice. Forward. So, do these drawings have names? I don't know. Maybe this is a. It's just like a, a blurb. I'm not gonna obviously read it, but all right. So, Sacred Decay, twelve to fourteen. Okay, so the drawings do have names. That must have been an intro page as well. Fire breather. Sugar gliders. Very cool. Oh, the sugar glider. Yeah. You know, I didn't even know these creatures existed until somebody on a on a work Zoom call showed like showing it was like a show and tell thing. And she showed her sugar glider and it was interesting and she talked all about them. Yeah. Such a cool style. Um, it's like a lot of watercolor. I think it's colored with watercolor. Is that a pig? Or a boar? Damn. Yeah, she's really good with snakes, like, you know, drying snakes and stuff too. See how it just, they're like ripping apart, kind of, but they're still doing the action. It's, it's interesting. Cool. Whoa, I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Cells. Cool. <laughs> it's really awesome awesome stuff like even like how the bone the, the detail in the bones like the shape the snakes eating itself it has a third eye and it has wings cool some black and whites it's always good to have some black and white drawings but the colored ones are amazing 2015. As the years go by, she gets better and better. The colors are really nice. Very coordinated colors, like the light blue and the white and the, the vulture's um, pink face with the purple accent. Damn. So graphic. My girlfriend would hate these books because she loves animals and all these these dark images would probably freak her out, but I find them really nice to look at. I don't know why, and even though it's like decay, it's still a positive experience for me. She uses the same, um, she uses the same uh, drawing technique I do with the highlights. Looks like she uses like a white gel pen or something with the highlights there. It's just cool, it's cool to know that, you know, that technique is used by other artists. It really works, she uses it well. She doesn't overdo it. Sometimes I overdo it with the highlights. She doesn't, yeah. The cicada there on the fruit, very cool. I'll go a little faster for you guys, but wow. Whoa. This is a close up up here. It's like that. Very cool. 16. I can see this book really giving me some inspiration in the future. This time the snakes 
meat is blue instead of pink, which is cool. That's different. This is like a parrot. And I like these little moths. Like a moth halo. Very cool. Lots of detail too. I'm, I'm an artist that also appreciates detail. Small details, so I can appreciate this. Some more uh, moth halos. Maybe this is a string, maybe this is um, grass. Looks like these wolves caught their prey. I love this blue color here. The blue and red. It's really, really cool. Good color and schemes. The red snake. Just so pops. The red snake. This is like a harpy or something. It says pigeon griffin. <laughs> so she made up her own animal there. Three-headed stuff, multiple heads, skulls, it's insane. I wonder when this artist started drawing. Lauren, when did you start drawing? Wow. Awesome. Yeah, this book is, oh, cool. I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but. Sketches. So she does plan it out. You know, I'm not a big planner when it comes to art. I don't really plan out my ideas. I kind of just freestyle everything. I just go with whatever the heart desires. I just go with whatever I think of, whatever pops up into my head. But it's interesting to see other people that plan, like how they plan it. Cool. Just getting down some ideas. These are really good drawings for for quick sketches you must you must just know how to draw she probably like drawing this many creatures to the she probably doesn't even need to look at reference anymore because she's drawn the same um, animals so many times she probably just knows their anatomy in and out at least that is how it is for me well that's it, that's the, that's the art book. Really well done. 136 pages. 136, wow. There's lots of drawings. Definitely worth it. I think I even, I think I paid like $26 for this book. It's obviously worth a lot more than that. Well, Lauren, good job. Amazing work. And I'm just gonna, Continue to follow you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll link her Instagram, her shop, and her website below in the description if you guys want to check it out or get it yourself. Very cool. Glad I bought it. I'm going to look at it, get some inspiration maybe, um, try some new things, maybe try to do some more realistic type drawings or play around with more watercolors. Because I did buy a watercolor set. I just have, have only used it like twice, but good job. All right, guys, that was it. If you guys like this type of video, if you want to see more book reviews, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have this book, tell me what, um, what page is your favorite, like what uh, drawing title is your favorite. I'd like to check it out and examine it with my eyes. Other than that, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.